Cora the dog craves attention. Oh my gosh. And the stunt she pulled over the weekend. I thought dispatch was messing with us. <laughs> has a lot of people talking. It's going to be talked about down here for, for quite a while, I'm sure. On Saturday night, Cora's owner, Wes McGurick, and his roommate, Jack Armstrong, could hear Cora, but couldn't see her. And we kept hearing it was like over here somewhere. The pair never expected to look up to find their missing pup. Then all of a sudden we realized it's coming from up there. <laughs> Cora had jumped a five foot fence and somehow climbed 20 feet up a tree. I've been doing this 12 years and it just, when they told us it was a 120 pound Great Dane, um, 20 foot up in a tree, that math usually doesn't add up. Lieutenant John Hardy with the Plattsmith Volunteer Fire Department says when they were dispatched to the call, he and his crew thought they were being pranked. We drove in and I looked out my window and I said, yeah, there's, there's a 120 pound dog up that tree. The big dog wasn't budging. Luckily, the, the sheriff's office canine handler was there and we were able to get a harness from him that he uses on his dog. Cora was slowly lowered down. With a few feet left to go, Cora's weight broke the harness. Luckily, some of the rescue crew from Elmwood and Plattsmouth broke her fall. Cora trotted away as if she'd never been stuck in a tree. Do you Probably. think she'll do that again? Oh, hopefully not. <laughs> then again, Cora is unpredictable.